So my name is Kai Rajewski from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Uh, and um, one of the abstracts that we presented um, at this year's ASH meeting uh, concerned the incidence um, of non-relapse mortality. We performed a systematic review and meta-analysis of the incidence and the causes of non-relapse mortality after CAR T-cell therapy. Um, and so what is non-relapse mortality? Non-relapse mortality is essentially all the reasons for a death uh, after CAR T-cell therapy that are not related uh, to the lymphoma or progression of the lymphoma. Uh, and these are important because um, they essentially are very serious adverse events that occur. Um, and we know a lot about the prototypical side effects of CAR T-cell therapy, CRS and ICANS. But I think what this analysis showed us is that there's also sort of um, other uh, side effects that are very relevant and that also contribute to non-relapse mortality. And so I think one of the first findings that we observed is that infections are by far the most common cause of non-relapse mortality of CAR -T -cell, after CAR T-cell therapy. And that's really observed across the uh, disease entities, across uh, CAR products. Uh, we observe that uh, the second most common cause of non-relapse mortality uh, are cardiovascular or respiratory events, and the third most are actu actually secondary malignancies. So as we have patients uh, that are responding to therapy, um, sort of natural events that occur in patients that are in remission can occur, and one of these uh, can be also secondary malignancies. And this is something that we're on the lookout for when patients are sort of uh, in long-term remission. Interestingly, the more CAR T specific side effects, CRS, ICANS, and HLH, only really were a minority of all non relapse uh, related uh, or contribute to a minority of non relapse related deaths. Uh, I think really highlighting the importance, particularly of infections. Um, what we're now also able to do with this analysis, which encompassed uh, more than 7,000 CAR T patients across clinical trials and real world studies is we were able to look at sort of what is the expected NRM rate um, across disease entities. We found that the NRM has actually increased uh, in patients with multiple myeloma and mantle cell lymphoma compared to LBCL um, and indolent lymphoma. Um, we also found um, that there are differences between CAR products and especially uh, a higher non-relapse mortality rate with the axicaptogen xylulosal CAR product compared to tizacel uh, and lysacel. Uh, and generally speaking, the, the CAR products that had a CD28 Zeta co-stimulatory domain compared to a 41BB co-stimulatory domain, they had higher <laughs> non-relapse mortality. So I think these types of analysis are really important to understand um, what patients, what types of side effects patients are at risk um, at after CAR T-cell therapy. By understanding the risk factors, particularly for infections, um, we hopefully can develop uh, strategies that mitigate the risk um, for severe infections after CAR T-cell therapy.